future travels. Uh, details will be confirmed closer to the time as usual. Uh, well, look, I expect the opposition to be negative, so, you know, business as usual from their point of view. I'll be speaking to uh, Prime Minister O'Neill about a wide range of matters. Look, I've met Prime Minister O'Neill on many occasions. Uh, I know him well. Uh, he's obviously had an election during this period. I've uh, met with him before the election and spoken to him since the election. I uh, will canvass a broad range of issues. Australia's opposition to the death penalty is well known. Well, we are pursuing uh, recommendations and advice that we received from Australian experts, uh, the former Chief of the Defence Force, an uh, expert on refugee matters, a foreign policy expert. I think it is to be regretted that the negativity of the opposition has stopped us fully implementing that report. Oh, it's a matter for New South Wales. <laughs> uh, look, I had a great day at Marsden yesterday. I got to meet some wonderful kids, uh, very excited to see me and full of very supportive words. I really enjoyed the visit. Uh, and uh, anything to do with school management is a matter for the principal, Alan Jones, who's a wonderful bloke, uh, leading a good school and making sure that that school offers vocational education and training to those kids in, a, in an Australian leading model. Thanks very much. Uh, no, I think you're confusing a few things there, to be frank. Uh, the no advantage uh, principle that arises from the Houston Review uh, is about uh, saying that people shouldn't get an advantage because they travel to Australia by boat, uh, but the waiting time that they get for a resettlement opportunity is the same amount of waiting time that they would have had if they had not got on that boat. The no advantage principle is about sending a clear message that if you get on a boat, all you do is risk your life and pay a people smuggler. You don't get an advantage from doing it. Uh, the uh, matter you raise is a separate matter, and that separate matter is if people have made an application uh, to be considered as a refugee, and that application has been properly rejected, uh, and we do have thorough processes here, if people's claims have been rejected, then they should return uh, to their homeland. And obviously, that's what we uh, want people to do. Uh, in those circumstances, uh, for Australia, uh, it's not a question of uh, support for these people. It's a question of them going back home. Thanks very much. Thank you. OK, so that was the Prime Minister there, along with the local government minister, Anthony.